over the past however many years that I've been doing my makeup I've really perfected my makeup look and I feel like I've curated a really good list of tips for makeup that I want to share with you today I'm gonna to be showing you all the products that I use exactly how I use them the placement of the products my tools my makeup process so I want to start by saying that I have gone through a lot of not work but I've done a lot to determine what my features are I'm like the type of person that loves taking little quizzes and stuff like I've always loved that so I know my color season like I know my face shape my undertones and I feel like knowing all of that really helps you to be able to have like the most flattering makeup so if you have similar features to me you could kind of just like copy what I'm doing but if you don't you can alter the techniques that I use to fit your face shapes no matter what time of day I'm doing my makeup I always like to put moisturizer on again right before I apply my makeup I feel like it just makes my makeup go on really smooth and it obviously makes sure that my skin is hydrated and the makeup doesn't look dry one really great moisturizer I love for like daytime because it's not too heavy and thick is the bioma moisturizing gel cream It's a nice lightweight gel consistency and it honestly just makes my skin feel plump and hydrated I like to apply eye cream right before my makeup as well makes my concealer go on smooth my eyeshadow go on smooth So this is the BU caffeine eye cream and I've really been liking it I like how like precise and pointy the little applicator is definitely also like to make sure that my lips are hydrated while I'm doing my makeup So I'm just gonna put on some Burt's Bees passion fruit lip oil just a little bit to make sure that when I get to the end of my routine and I'm gonna do my lips my lips are hydrated primer is something that I sometimes use but don't always use I'm currently not really using a primer I just start by going in with the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter I use the shade medium I really love the way this preps my skin and I actually don't use foundation either this is kind of like my foundation and just my overall base but I just do a few swipes like on each cheek the center my forehead down my nose and then I kind of just blend that in I like to have have a glowy base to my makeup and I like how this just gently kind of smooths and perfects your skin so I blend that in with a beauty blender and kind of get it on my eyelids as well but I actually don't like having a ton of makeup on my face like I don't like having a super heavy base so that's why I don't really use foundation and I just like to keep it kind of light on my face like when my face makeup feels super cakey and heavy I just like feel gross and I just want to wash my face so the next step that I always do is use a contour and I always use a cream contour I just really like cream products I feel like they're more blendable I feel like they just go on the skin really nicely so I have two that I use and I really like them both one is the makeup revolution eye bright and I use it in the darkest or the second darkest shade I do notice that with this one it kind of like dries out quickly or it can potentially be patchy if you don't have a really moisturized base before or maybe mix in a little bit of moisturizer but it's really like an affordable option and it works great the other one is OG sticks these are great because it's like organic natural makeup which is amazing so this is a shade obsidian this one blends in really smoothly and really nicely so I do a few lines honestly pretty high up when I blend it it'll kind of surround this whole area but I like the placement to be a little bit higher than I guess where I would want it to be because otherwise it drags your face down and makes you look muddy so I also like to do this on my eyelids like the corner of my eye like that sort of like a little cat eye thing I also take it across my forehead so I just do a few few little lines for my nose I just go right underneath the tip of my nose like that and then right up Above the tip of my nose so it's kind of making like a little circle around my nose sometimes like you can do it under your lip down there but I don't always do that to blend I use this brush which is literally from TJ Maxx from so many years ago but I honestly love the shape of it just blend it not by rubbing and like swiping the brush but just by kind of pressing it into place up here I definitely make sure to try to get it into my hairline <laughs> and on the forehead I'll kind of do like a sweeping motion and next up is blush one of my favorite steps it makes such a difference and I can't stress enough how important it is to find a blush shade that suits your skin So being like a summer color season these shades of blush I found really suit me like dusty rose kind of colors look really good on my skin I feel like even like the candy pink shades ones with a little bit of purple Also, I feel like suit me really well if you have similar coloring to me these blushes might be a great like shade recommendation for you So 
First is the Rare Beauty like Soft Pinch Blush in the shade Hope. And I also love Glossier Cloud Paint. I have multiple shades of this. I love the shade Storm. This is when I want like a more burgundy look, but for like an everyday look, I love the shade Haze. And I also love the Makeup Revolution Bright Light Highlighter, but this is like the dark pink one. It's Divine Dark Pink. This is like the perfect shimmery, beautiful blush shade. During this step, I also mix in a cream like liquid highlight with my blush. I am still using this liquid highlight. I don't know how I've had it for so long genuinely because I use this literally like every single time I do my makeup. I've had it for like four years. It literally has a six month shelf life so that's really bad but they don't even make this anymore. It's the Glossier Play Nightshine Highlighter. This stuff is just so good. I haven't found like a cream liquid highlight that I love as much as this. Mine is almost gone but like I still just use it and I would say a good kind of similar alternative would be the Rare Beauty just the highlight shade but I've even tried that and it's not quite as like thick as this one so this one isn't even sold anymore unfortunately but I really love it and I love mixing a little bit of highlight in with my blush to make it be glowy so I love these two blushes mixed together so what I often do is one little like dot of blush over here over there a little bit on my nose and then just like a little bit of this as well then just like dot on a little bit of highlight and then the tip of my nose as well and I also put it on my inner corners this is another random TJ Maxx brush that I've had for years but I literally Literally use it every day I love it so that's what I'm using right now lightly blend in this blush I keep it really high up so I'm like keeping it to the outer part of my face but then I'm bringing it a little bit across to like the apples of my cheeks as well kind of doing circular motions and then even bringing it over like my eyelid area because I like when my blush and eyes and kind of everything looks really cohesive a little bit monochromatic blend in my little inner corner highlight and then I do concealer. I used the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer for a really long time, but these e.l.f. concealers are pretty much the same thing. Neither of them are quite my exact shade. This one, I feel like you can just tell, is too light. This one is a little bit too yellow, but it's a pretty... I think this one's like a closer shade match. They're both the shade Light Beige, which is weird because they do not at all look the same but this is the hydrating camo concealer from elf and this is just the regular camo concealer i honestly usually take the one that's a little bit darker and i put it like right here and right here but the one that's a little bit lighter i put like right down here because i kind of have acne scarring right here and if i put that dark concealer like down here it just it looks worse so i do that there i also do this right at the edge of my eyes i feel like it kind of cleans up the edge of my eye and then i put a little bit right here and here blend that with a beauty blender and I blend in the one that's the not hydrating concealer first because it dries very quickly honestly <laughs> I actually don't conceal my under eyes. Um, I sometimes will just bring it kind of close up here, but I don't really put any concealer there. I stopped putting under eye concealer on a few years ago, and I honestly, I like love the way it looks. Weirdly enough, but just keep blending. I really only keep the concealer in the center of my forehead, and I actually kind of just take the beauty blender across the whole bridge of my nose. This is again kind of weird. I know some people, I feel like it suits their face when they do blush all the way across here and like leave out the tip of their nose. I feel like it looks better on me when I make this kind of concealer colored and then I do blush and stuff on the tip of my nose. I don't know why. I just feel like the other way doesn't suit me. So so now all the cream products are on and I will set basically each one of them with powder products. My favorite bronzer is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. It's not too dark and I just like the undertone of it. It's not super orange. So I sweep that across my forehead, basically my whole forehead, and then kind of just circle it like that. And I even take it down here a little bit, not really in the center of my face, but this is bronzer, not contour. So I do kind of just use it to like warm up the area across the tip of my nose. And then I'll grab a little Morphe brush and like real quick drag this across my crease a little bit and the corners of my eye to make them match my face, I guess. For blush, I have quite a few favorites. Again, one is the Too Faced Cloud Crush Candy Clouds blush. Beautiful bubblegum pink. She's beautiful. Next is the NARS. This is a classic, but the Orgasm blush. It has a gold little shimmer to it. It's so beautiful on the skin. I love this brush for blush. This is a real technique. Soft accent blush. I love that it's kind of compact, but it's like slightly tapered. It's like the perfect way to pack a little bit of blush into a very particular place on your face. So I'm going to start with this Candy Clouds blush. Take a little bit and then I'll just like pack it on right into the spot. A little bit on my nose, even like a little bit right here on my eyelid again to make it match the rest of my face and with the fluffier brush i'm gonna just use a little bit of the nars blush over top just because it's a little glowy and it kind of like adds a nice 
finishing touch. Lastly, I set my concealer with some powder. So I use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. This is what I've used my whole life that I've been using makeup. It's the classic perfect setting powder. I like to take my beauty blender and I'll like lightly get a little bit on there. And I like to specifically set both sides of my nose right here because this is not a place where I want it to be glowy, like right here. Otherwise, it just kind of look oily when it's there. So I do the same thing around my mouth. I do a little bit in the center of my forehead as well. And honestly, powder is the secret to having just a flawless looking base. And then the face makeup is done. I do brows next and I have a very basic and simple brow routine. I've just been using the e.l.f. brow lift pencil for quite a while because it's so cheap. It's $3. It really does the trick. I actually use the shade blonde because color matches my eyebrows and I don't want my brows to be super dark. So I honestly will often just brush them. But if I do want to fill them in a little bit, I will kind of just lightly use this brow pencil and then I'll just brush them or use some brow gel. This is the Merit brow gel and I kind of brush the tails like up and out like that way. Brush the fronts pretty much straight up and then this like that way. My go-to eye product that I've been using constantly. I think I got this in like the Anthropology Beauty Advent Calendar one year and it's so random but it's so good. It's the Natasha Denona Diamond and Glow Little Duo. Mine is actually cracked. It's like crushed but it has a shimmery glittery kind of highlight shade and then this pink. And this pink is what does it for me. This thing is so good. So this is really simple but I take that pink shade on a flat shader brush and just put it on my my lids mostly like the inner half of my lid and it's just so pretty and I do wear both black and brown eyeliner I pretty much always do eyeliner if I'm gonna do my makeup and I just do a tiny little wing at the edge because I feel like it looks so good I use the Stila stay all day eyeliner when I'm gonna do a liquid liner but oftentimes I'll use brown because I have brown hair like brown eyebrows and I have a more muted color palette so I find that when I do brown it's a little bit softer and I feel like it kind of suits me better so this is just the L'Oreal infallible black brown eyeliner just draw a little wing like that and do the same on the other eye and it looks like that I don't always do this but I will sometimes take it and put it on my waterline and it looks like that next I do lashes I only ever use one mascara since I bought this mascara for the first time I've never been able to use a different mascara so this is the thrive cosmetics liquid lash extensions mascara this is a tubing mascara so if you're not familiar with what that means it like coats each of your eyelashes in a little tube and then when you wash your face it comes off basically in like chunks like it doesn't run. I highly recommend this mascara. I honestly don't really curl my lashes. I've mentioned this before, but I had a time where my lash curler cut off all my lashes and it like scarred me. So usually what I do though, this sounds really weird, but I just take my fingers and go like this. So I try not to go to the roots of my lashes. I can kind of weigh them down. So I try to just more so do the tips. If you go right to the root straight up, it will like weigh your lashes down and they won't really hold a curl as well. That and then for the lower lashes, I actually have really long lower lashes. I really just kind of plant the mascara very close to my lash line. Like if it gets on the length of my lashes, it looks weird because they're just, they're kind of long. So I just put it right at the base. <laughs> Next is kind of like the finishing touches of my makeup. Sometimes I do fake freckles. People have really strong opinions about fake freckles. I know people think they're really stupid, whatever. Sometimes I just do them. Sometimes they're cute. This is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. It's the shade Ash Brown and it's kind of like a little marker. And sometimes if I want to do fake freckles, I'll just really lightly like dot this on and kind of take my finger and like add it like that. I'll do it across the bridge of my nose. They're subtle but they look cute. And the last thing that I'll sometimes do is add a little bit of extra powder highlight if I feel like it's not enough. So this is the Becca Champagne Pop. I'll just take a teeny bit and put it on the tip of my nose, my inner corners, and then maybe use a little fan brush for doing it over here. Last step is lips. Before I put my lip products on, sometimes what I will do is I'll use a little lip scrubber. I'll use the big size with the bumps to kind of get any like concealer or anything off my lips and also just make them nice and like exfoliated and plump and ready for lip products. This is such an amazing tool. It's only like four dollars or something. This is a Sonia Kashuk one from Target but I'm just using it with the lip oil that I already had on from earlier and like brushing it across my lips. My favorite lip combo which perfectly matches this look is using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner with Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I have Pillow Talk lip liner in both the lighter and darker shade. This is the lighter one and then this is the medium shade. I kind of prefer the lighter one but I wear both of them. A pretty good similar shade. I think it's a little bit different but it's in the same kind of color family as this NYX one. You want like a cheaper option. 
option. This is the NYX Matte Lip Liner in Whipped Caviar. Like I said, it's in a similar color family. It's like a little bit darker. Honestly though, it's really nice and I love it as well. I had a pimple on my lip literally like three weeks ago and this dot will not go away. It wasn't even a cold sore or anything, literally just a pimple and it won't go away. It's bothering me so bad, so please ignore that. But I slightly go over my Cupid's bow. Like I just kind of go over it. And then I just follow my lip line throughout the rest of my top lip and bottom lip. The Lifter Gloss from Maybelline is like one of my favorite glosses. This stuff is amazing. This is the shade 120 Gummy Bear, but I've pretty much used every shade. I just pop this on top. And that is my finished makeup look. Hopefully you found this helpful and maybe learned some new tips. Comment your favorite makeup tips below if there's anything you feel has been like life-changing for you in terms of makeup or something really helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Comment to this emoji if you watched all the way up until this point and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.